The countdown is on to the Champions League finals match taking place this weekend, Saturday, June 6th. Uh, throughout the week, we've broken down the coverage of featuring specific videos on the outrights or winners market, specials or prop bets, and a full preview. In this video, we're going to focus on the total goals with our season-long guest, Stuart, from TalkingTipsters.com. Now, Stuart, you've got an interesting combination here between two playing styles. How does that translate into goals and the amount that we'll see? Uh, well, it's going to come down to which style is stronger, I think. You've got Barcelona, who are a very, very attacking side. And then you've got Juventus, who are very... I wouldn't say they're particularly defensive, but they have an extremely good defence. I mean, they, they know how to attack as well. They've scored enough goals to get them this far. And uh, I, I personally think it's going to be a really, really good game. But the number of goals, that that's, comes down to personal opinion, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, everyone I've spoken to is going for the over right now. The over is 1.95, bet365, and the under is 1.91. So what's your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going for the over as well. I mean, if you look at that forward line of Barcelona, I think it's potentially the best in world football right now. I'm struggling to think of any other team in world football that could cut. I mean, Real Madrid, you know, they're probably up there as well. But uh, personally, I, I don't think that uh, Benzema is, is quite of the standard that it, the Barcelona players have got. So I think he's they're slightly let down there. Um, with that in mind, and also the fact that Chiellini is... You know, possibly not going to make it. He's picked up a fire injury, I believe, and he may miss this one. If he's missing, then that's a fairly big part of the Juventus defence going to be missing. So with that, you could actually see a few goals. So I would be going definitely for the over as well. You're going for the over, OK. Now, obviously, Barcelona, they've got a great goalie. They've also got a good defence. But... You know, you. I know you, Ve. That you know they've they've spoken out in press conferences and they've said you know they want to get something out of this match, even if it's a goal. Uh, both teams to score 1.95. Will we see goals from both sides? I think we will. I think we'll see uh, Juventus get a goal. Now, you know, I think Barcelona. You know, they're they're going to score, aren't they? With that forward line. Although having said that, they're about to draw a blank now, aren't they? But. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you look at the Juventus defence, they've got really strong defence, they've got a fantastic goalkeeper, you know, he's, is it, IFFHS, the International Federation of Football History and Statistics, they they voted uh, Gianluigi Buffon the best goalkeeper of the century last century, the best goalkeeper of the last 25 years and the best goalkeeper of the decade. So with that in mind, you've got to say, this is a very good goalkeeper and it's going to take, you know, uh, a fairly good team to beat him. Of course, it's up against a very good team. Mm -hmm, very true. Barcelona and both teams to score 3.9888 Sport. Is that a combination you'd make? I like that one, actually. I think that's pretty good. Um, I think people should definitely have a look at that. And if they think the same as me, then, you know, potentially put some money on it. I think I might put a little bit on a little bit of that on myself. Mm -hmm, all right. Will we see goals in both halves? Now, this one's difficult. I think we're going to see quite a few goals. I think we could actually see three or four goals in this one. So... With that in mind, I think, yes, we will see goals in both halves. Um, when those goals come in the halves, that's a, a more interesting question, I think. All right. So goals in both halves is priced 1.71888 Sport. What about Barcelona to score in both halves? 2.5 bet 3.65. Yeah, I think those are pretty good odds. As I said, I'm expecting a few goals. And uh, I think Barcelona can score at least two. So, uh, you know, I think that's a good bet. I like it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, a few people that I've spoken to, you know, are sort of undecided on whether we may see that sort of draw at half time and then a Barcelona win or Barcelona mm. winning both halves. Um, and the other sort of question is, is whether there will be a goal in the first 30 minutes, 1.85? Um, I, I would go against that one. I, I personally, I just wouldn't bet it. I think it's a little bit too risky to bet because you've got to have, you know, a little bit of the you know, fortune teller about you if you're going to pick up on that kind of one. I don't think both sides will be going for it right out of the bat, right out of the gates. I think they'll be sizing each other up and uh, sticking to a tactical plan, both of them. And I should think if there's going to be a goal in the first half, which I expect there will be, it'll probably come around somewhere between the 35th and the 45th minute. But of course, don't quote me on that. <laughs> All right. So that's <laughs> off record then. If, uh, if you think that they won't score a goal in the first 30 minutes, no, it's 1.87. The uh, question is, is how many goals do you think we will see from Barcelona? Uh, I think we could see three from Barcelona. That's that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you then back Barcelona to score over two and a half goals? That's 3.5, bet 365. 
At 3.5, I think that's okay. It's, it's not fantastic odds, but 3.5, it's it's all right. Obviously, this kind of game, the bookies are going to be all over it, so it's going to be very difficult to find value in pretty much anything, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. You can also back here Juve to score over 0 0.5 goals there, so one or more. That's 1.67888 sport. It's not the greatest price, uh, but, you know, many people are expecting a goal from Juve. Uh, 1.67 there. Would you take that bet? Cool. Well, Juve, they're going up against the weaker defence. They're going up against a slightly weaker goalkeeper. They have a good forward line of their own. So I would expect Juve to score as well, but I, I wouldn't be placing any money at those odds. Mm -hmm. All right, then. And finally here, what are the tips that you've got for our viewers focusing on the goals? Focusing on the goals, mine's actually a correct score bear. It's a very, very long odds one for me. Uh, so it's one goal for Juventus and three goals for Barcelona. So it's a one free correct score. Mm -hmm. Odds of 15 at Ladbrokes. Oh, that should be interesting. Big for me. Yeah, that's very big for you, actually, and that's a correct score. I tell you, though, interestingly, I had Dean Goddard from OLBG.com uh, on the line earlier, and that was one of the bets that he gave. So uh, that could be pointy. You could be onto a winner there, Stuart. Well, the guys at OLBG do generally tend to know what they're talking about. They've been going around for quite some time. So if he's saying it as well, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Fantastic. And Stuart, I've got to ask you finally, who is lifting the trophy? This one's really tough because I actually like both sides. As I said, I'm expecting Barcelona to win 3-1. Um, I'm going to go with Barcelona. It would be really great to see Xavi pick up the the, the, find, the the trophy at the end. He's had such a good career. and mm -hmm. This is last game for Barcelona, so what a way to finish. Yeah, all right then. Barca's lift the trophy and a great tip there from Stuart with great odds. Uh, Stuart is from TalkingTipsters.com. I put the link in the description below which takes you straight to their website. Do be sure to check it out. Stuart will also be on our live Google Hangout out tomorrow uh, we'll have a big discussion about the Champions League finals and the best bets for the match. Stuart, thank you for joining us. Thank you.